Clippers. The current time is 7.41 a.m. on this Tuesday, May the 19th. As you know, I bought last night Drip for overnight hold. I bought 580 shares last night at the price average of $6.72. I'm currently up $0.12 cents on, that, on those shares. The current volume is 13.7 million shares being traded with a 4.6 million share float. I already posted in the group what I was watching and what I did last night on my trades. Again, I am not giving anyone financial advice. I am not a professional uh, financial consultant. I'm just telling you what I see when I trade from my eyes. Hoping maybe it just may help you as a new trader, experienced trader, or shoot, who knows, person who want to trade. So my current watch list is only two stocks at this moment, and that is A-Bus and uh, Norwegian Cruise Lines. Rephrase that. YCBD is my second one I'm watching. Both have high floats, 51 million and also 68 million share float. However, they're making some moves into this, this uh, pre-M, PM trading market. I don't know why yet. I haven't looked at it. I just see it on my scanner, and I haven't investigated what's going on yet. But you see here on my uh, charts, you see my my fifteen, my five day, fifteen minute chart. I have A bus put up here, and I have YCBD put up over here. Just trying to see what's going on with them before I look up the news. As I look now, it's not much volume. It's only four hundred twenty nine thousand volume, which is actually good pre market, and three hundred nine thousand volume on the the YCBD. If I look at the charts, the green line is my EMAs on the A bus. It's right and right in the middle of the, of the EMA, and on the YCBD, it's just fighting to cross resistance of that uh, EMA. Now let's go to my trade icon. Now I'm up 58 bucks right now on my overnight hold of uh, drip. Now I could sell it right now and be done with it, or I can hold it longer. I really think it's going to make a, a move to the positive upside. However, I look at my my, my MACD is fading. My RSI is also fading. I look at my 15-minute chart, 5-day 15-minute chart, and I will see that it's consolidating. So, two different charts, two different windows you're looking at. However, the MACD is, sh is showing some power to the upside, but the RSI is saying consolidate on the 15-minute. Now, you look at the raw bought it was. Look at the 20-day 4-hour chart. Sorry, 180 day four hour chart. And you'll see back here on uh, May 14th, the price was 954 a pound. Since that point, it's declined, right? Yesterday I saw right before market close, well, at market closing, that it was bouncing off the, the RSI as well as the MACD. And you'll see here the RSI reversed yesterday, right about here. If you compare it to my chart, I bought the same kind of reverse at, which was three, uh, sorry, 672. We look at the RSI and the MACD combined. The MACD showed that yesterday that it was it was reversing on an over uh, oversold opportunity. So for me, it's an easy overnight hold. So first resistance would have been this first candle right here at 702. Next would have been this resistance here at 751. So my goal was to hold it overnight, wake up in the morning. It'd be at least seven bucks. I hop on, see what's going on, get my sell order ready to get out of it. At 725, 750, if I get lucky. But this morning, volume is pretty high. 14 million shares being traded with a 4.6 million share float. However, it's not much movement. Now look at level three. The buyers are piling up, are piling up. Look at level two. The sellers are also piling up. However, it seems to be a, a, a one cent, which is not much. A one cent gap between the buyers and sellers. So we currently have uh, two thousand, phrase it, yeah, two thousand uh, buyers at six eighty two. They have uh, three thousand nine hundred sellers at six eighty three. So they're basically trying to cancel each other out. I'm gonna hold it for a little while longer. If I don't have much more action coming, I'm gonna get out of it. I'm just holding up money for no reason right now. I mean, I'm up, but yeah, I want to be up at least ten percent. And I'm nowhere near where I want to be at. However, you can't guess them all correctly and stuff happens. Now, I do know the market is uh, overall is red right now. and But oil is up. 
and gold is also up. So with those two things being up, my thought process meaning I have a drip. I have drip. Drip is a bear uh, oil uh, ETF. So meaning, obviously, when the oil goes down, drip goes up. So it's currently up right now. Thirty cent oil is up. I probably should sell it right now. However, I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes and see what happens and see maybe just maybe I can get a reversal. Let me go back to the the five minutes. See what's looking like. If it's looking terrible, I'm getting out of it. Five minutes about to dump. I'm gonna get out of it. I'm a little tired of holding it. It's not doing much for nothing. I can sell it right now. A limit. Current bid price is six eighty two. Get my five eighty in. My limit. Got my EXT. And I'm put it at six eighty uh, three. Just because I'm the penny off. Negative 580, 580, 580 closes it. Confirm that sale. So it's gonna take a while to fill. So I didn't go through. What happened? That's a push. Look at that. Think of swim messed up. <laughs> ah, come on, think of swim. Don't keep me in this dag on trade, man. It happens sometimes. Think of swim is messed up. Imagine that. I'm gonna be stuck in this trade. Yeah, I love it. Not scripted either. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so I'm gonna end this video. I'm gonna log out and log back in and see what happens. So I'm gonna log out.